In this video, we're going to take another look at R and how it can handle categorical variables. Here's an example that we saw in another setting. Uh, it's a collection of favorite colors for some classmates of Jonathan. I'd like to get this data into R so that we can, uh, can process the data there. So here I've opened an R console. Actually, I've opened this console in R Studio because often when you're using R, instead of actually writing the first things down in the console, you might want to put them in a text editor, edit them there, and then copy and paste them into the console. The nice thing about R Studio is that it's got a built-in editor. So let me open that. So here's the built-in editor for R, and here's the R console. So I'm going to write things in here, get them the way that I want them, and then copy and paste that command line down into R Studio. Since we're looking at a collection of favorite colors, I'm going to build an object called color. So there's color, uh, the less than slash sign, which looks like an arrow. So I'm going to assign this concatenated uh, data into this object called color to uh, create this character variable. So I'm interested in this data down here now. Now notice that here I can copy this data. So I'm copying that data and pasting it into the, the editor. Now it comes in, in as, as two lines. I'm going to adjust that and just make it one long line. like that. And then I need to put parentheses around all of the items that are here. So let me just come back here and each one of these are going to be a character so I need to put parentheses around each one. Remember that I needed to have that parentheses at the very end. So there's our data. The idea here is that it's much easier to edit things here. I've got this command line. If I've made a mistake on it, it's a complicated line. So if I've made a mistake on it, I can come back and edit it here. Now the cool thing is that I can copy that information and paste it down in the console and see if it's working the way that I want it to, to do. So here I am uh, copying that. The nice thing in R Studio is that once you've highlighted it, you can just say run that particular amount and it copies it down here. I've got a warning message about some graphic things here because I need to do some updating. So there I've got this object R, uh, color, that's uh, got this content in it. And so let's uh, look at the structure of color. It's a character variable. It has 27 items in it. It goes from 1 to 27. And there's the first few items that are there. The great thing is that now that I have this object color, I can do some things with it. For example, I can ask R to give me a table of that color information. And so it tells me that I've got eight blues, six greens, one orange, uh, two others, uh, three purples, three reds, and a, and a yellow. I could store that table as an object. So let's put color.t to remind me that it's a table. That object is a table. And we'll look at table color. OK, so any time that I look at color t, color t, then I'm going to be able to see that, that table. So now that table, I can do some things with it as well. I might be interested in a bar plot of the information that's in that table. So I don't know whether I can show the, I should have made the screen a little bit bigger here, but there, there you've got this, uh, this bar plot of that information. If I wanted this to be, uh, instead of a frequency count here, maybe I would like a probability count. I would like a relative frequency table. So let's, uh, recreate a, a relative frequency table. So if I if I took a, the color t 
table and let's do a relative frequency on that and what we'll do is take whatever was in color times all the items in there by a hundred and divide by how many items there are um, in in color Let's see I really wanted to write, take color table and uh, times it by a hundred so I'm going to multiply each one of these items by a hundred and then divide each of them by how by the total number that's there the the length of that vector so now if I look at color table relative frequency now I've got these as uh, as percentages and of course if I look at uh, at a bar plot of that information so here I'm going to do a bar plot of of that table that's been converted to a relative frequency and that's what things look like <coughs> so now these are measured as percentages over 25 percent 37 percent of them are blue and then uh, green and, and so on we might want to convert that to a a Pareto table instead Pareto graph so to do that I need to come back to my uh, color table let's do the relative frequency one I need to sort that table and we need to sort it with the decreasing this is a an option in sort decreasing is equal to to true so I want it to be decreasing by by default decreasing is false so you, you do an increasing values instead of a decreasing value so <clears throat> look at what that did now now it build a table it has blue green yellow purple notice that those relative frequencies keep going down each time so it's sorted that particular table in that in that order so if we took that object we could store that as an object or we could just plot things right here let's do a, a bar plot of that particular sorted information and there it is uh, decreasing values all the way okay so there's an enormous power once we're able to get the object get the information into an object in R then we can begin to process that information very quickly and effectively okay that's the idea